a bit dirty. Welcome back to the wall. We're gonna go with the real ball today. Start the app. Here we go. Today I'm gonna continue to count the hits. I was really surprised with how that helped narrow my focus yesterday. And focus is something I struggle with, or continued focus is something I struggle with. So I'm really hoping this turns out to be a little bit of a mental hack for me to just keep my mind centered in the court while I'm hitting. And just a recap real quick in case you missed the day eight video, I started counting out loud every hit up to 10. Three, four. And then alternating sides. And just having that little bit of a consistency goal has helped give me a plan and a purpose for each shot. I do feel like I'm averaging more hits in a row than before. I'm around 50. Oh, that's a huge spider. Dang, stay away from that. Uh, 50 shots on average before I miss. I almost said shank, but I haven't shanked in a while. That's probably not true. I don't think I've shanked in a while. I probably have though. Yeah, I went back and looked and I shanked just a few rallies before this. But I think that shows progress because I'm not focusing as much on my shanks and errors and I'm free to push and progress forward in a more positive mindset because I'm not being held back as much by the negative. And it's also upped my intensity a little bit more. I had been keeping it pretty mellow because I was working on staying calm with the hands in the swing, but I feel like I've been able to find a pretty good balance with that in this second week, and that's letting me hit out a little bit more, and I feel like that shows improvement in my consistency and my confidence. A couple comments have asked about this court. Uh, this particular wall area has three backboards on it. Part of the local municipal tennis center near where I live is pretty well maintained. And while there is a small fee to use the courts here, this wall zone, this wall zone is free. And you can't beat that. But it wouldn't be a public court without someone asking to hit. I'm assuming you played college tennis somewhere. This is Brad. He talked to me for 14 minutes and 42 seconds. We're best friends now. Sorry I didn't want to hit with you, Brad. It's not you, it's me. But still, you gotta respect the public court hustle. Have a good evening. You too. I did lose my rhythm a little bit talking to Brad. Oh, come on. And I tried not to let it phase me, but uh, oh boy, I still got some mental things to work on. But I can't blame Brad. I know it's something I need to get better at. So I'll try to look at it as real-time focused practice. And after a few more minutes, I eventually did get my rhythm back. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but we got there and that's all part of practice. And just for kicks at the end, I tried some alternating. I thought that might be a good way to show some of my improvement from the last week. So here's a few of those shots. Overall, it's much better than the first few days. I think the difference is my ability to control the ball better uh, when I'm on the move. So like here, I'm pulled wide, but my return of that wide shot is much more controlled than last week, which gives me an easier next shot. And with an easier next shot, it's easier to keep the rally under control and to keep the hits going. So I think altogether that shows more improved consistency. And I also think my footwork is better overall as well. Did you hear those squeaks? You hear that footwork? I still haven't been able to eliminate all my shanks. Oh gosh. But I think even that's getting better because the confidence with which I shank is superior than just 10 days ago. That's gotta count for something, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching day nine. Overhead smash the like button. Please subscribe and share this series with a friend who might need some tennis inspiration. We got 20 more days to go. Still a lot of tennis ahead of us. And with that, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to serve big and string often.